Now for the body of the base, I selected a piece of mahogany. This is eight quarter mahogany. There's not a whole lot of figure here, not a whole lot going on. And the reason that I'm doing that is on the back side of the guitar, where there's not going to be a book match, you really, at least in my opinion, I don't want to have any just incredible grain showing that will obviously give away the fact that it's not a book match. Because from this one piece, I'm going to get the two wings that I need for either side of the through the body neck. And that's what's going to comprise the body, and that's what we'll, we'll actually come out and cut the shape out on. So, eight quarter mahogany, about 37 inches long. The top wing on the base, where the longer horn is going to be, there's a strap lock out there. And the whole point of that top horn being a little bit longer is that when you attach the strap lock a little further toward the center of the base, it helps with balance when you're playing. So my top piece, I need to be 20 inches long in order to accommodate all that. And my bottom piece here, I need to be 17 inches long in order to accommodate that. So I'm going to cut this guy on the chop saw at 20 inches, and that should leave me about 17 inches for the other one. Now, the piece that I selected for the top is this piece of Paduk. And it's probably going to be hard to see too much grain and too much activity on there. But there is a really, just a really interesting kind of interwoven grain to this piece of Paduk that I haven't seen before. So I'm going to be taking this piece over to the table saw. I'm going to fillet it right down the middle. Run it all the way through at full depth. It'll open up just like that and it's going to be my book match. That's what's going to go on either side of the mahogany. And when those two wings go on there, you'll have a nice book matched piece of Paduk with maple in the middle. And I know the sanding on that is going to be nuts. For those of you that have worked with Paduk and maple before, the Paduk is going to make red dust and it's going to stain the maple. But I just kind of have to control it and do the best I can. I'm going to try to scrape more than anything so that way we're not doing too much sanding on there. And that will kind of minimize that. But I mean, it's, it's definitely going to happen. But I saw this piece of Paduk and the and just the grain that it had in here, and I just really couldn't pass it up. It was a really good looking piece. And like I said, I'm going to take this one over the chop saw, chop it down. I'm going to run this one through and fillet it, chop them all down to size and assemble them. And this will wind up being glued together, you know, kind of like that. And that is where you'll have a drop top, a quarter inch drop top of Paduk on top of an eight quarter piece of mahogany which is going to, and actually it's slightly less than eight quarter, this thing is about a, an inch and a half thick, normal eight quarters, about an inch and three quarters. So once it gets the quarter inch slab on the top of there, you know, plus or minus just a little bit, you know, with planing this guy, it'll be our one and three quarters, which is the target depth that I'm going for. All right, so we're at the end of day one. Uh, I made it through both of these pieces on the saw. I managed to cut this one down to 20 for the upper bout, and this one down to about 17 for the for the lower end there, um, you know, assuming the guitar is facing to the right. Um, these came out pretty nice, and the cool thing too is because I picked something that doesn't have a really pronounced grain pattern, the join between the two of these, I mean obviously it was separated by a couple inches of the, through the body neck, but the two of these, I mean, not a book match, but it's a pretty nice match because again, just a nice plain piece where we're putting the two of them together. So, and I'm more than likely going to probably flip this guy over just to move the brown line that's on there to the outside. So then you have the two of them like this, and that's how they're going to wind up going together, obviously with the neck in between. So that's these two. And then I filleted open the piece of Bubinga, I'm sorry, the piece of Paduk rather, and it's probably going to be hard to see, but got a really, really nice pattern out of it. I mean, just gorgeous. Nice book match. Those guys are going to go on top of these with a little bit of glue and some clamps. And unfortunately, we're at the end of the day here and I've got all my clamps in use on the through the body like that we did just a little bit earlier. But once those get back, we'll go ahead and clamp these guys up probably tomorrow. And we'll be ready to draw in a shape and start cutting that out as well. So that was number one um, in the series for the electric bass guitar.